Let's now turn to judicial matters as the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, is challenging his detention in the custody of the Department of State Services. The Attorney General of the Federation and the DSS are, however, insisting the detention of Mr. Emifili is lawful. Celestine Iria has more. Former Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefili, has instituted a fundamental rights enforcement suit against the Department of State Services. Mr. Emefili, in his originating motion on notice, is praying the court to enforce his freedom to liberty and movement as there are no basis for his continuous detention. President Bola Tsunubu had on 9th June suspended Mr. Emefili from office. These were sequel to an ongoing investigation of his office and the planned reforms in the financial sector of the economy. Mr. Mevele was directed to hand over the affairs of his office to the Deputy Governor Operations Directorate. Shortly after his suspension, he was arrested by the DSS. Mr. Mevele is once again seeking the protection of the court. On 15 December 2022, a federal high court sitting in Abuja declined an application by the DSS to arrest and detain Gordon Mevele. On 29 December, Justice M. A. Hassan of the High Court of the FCT restrained the DSS and four orders from arresting or detaining Mr. Gordon Mefele over alleged trumped up charges bordering on terrorism financing. At today's proceedings, in response to the submission of Mr. Mefele, the AGF and the DSS in their preliminary objection prayed the court to dismiss the motion with costs. They both submitted that there is a subsisting order of court to detain Mr. Emefili. They noted that the arrest of the former CBN governor was an administrative decision of the DSS. The AGF is also challenging the jurisdiction of the court to entertain the suit as the originating motion filed by Mr. Emefili ought to have prayed the court to set aside the order of his detention rather than seek enforcement of his rights. The DSS on its part is also challenging the motion for bail filed by Mr. Emefili. The court adjourned to 13th July for ruling. The rights proceedings of the suspended governor of the Central Bank. We have argued the application. We have replied. We have also uh, replied on points of law. We raised issues of jurisdiction, which we met and explained to the court that the court has undoubted jurisdiction to hear the matter. Presiding Judge Justice Hamza Mwazu had on 17th June about the DSS and its Director General to grant Mr. Mefele unrestricted access to his lawyers and family members. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.